Hello everybody. Well, it's the 27th of January. It's Wednesday. Welcome to our series on prayer through the book of Judges. This is a big week for us as a local church. Uh, there will be a leadership summit on Friday night. I'm going to encourage you, uh, even if you don't consider yourself a leader in the church right now, if you're serious about your faith, why don't you go online at uh, six o'clock it'll be from six through to seven thirty and you can find us on youtube and on facebook as we look at what we believe god has got in store for our church in 2021 but we're looking at a leader today a very flawed leader his name is samson in fact we're looking at the very end of his life and you'll remember that um, he uh, got into some pretty bad habits with women and a particular woman entrapped him uh, he confided in her. It resulted in his arrest. Uh, the enemy, the Philistines, gouged out his eyes and put him in prison. And uh, this brings us to the, the end of his life. And he gets brought before thousands of Philistines uh, as sport and um, is paraded before them. But over that period, you can see he's been truly repentant. He's got a sober assessment of himself and what God's called him to. And um, he stands between these two massive pillars. And God has returned his gift to him, returned his strength to him, returned his anointing to him, returned his call to him. And uh, he leans on these pillars and he, he, he pushes them over. And then this is this. So then Samson reached toward the two central pillars. This is Judges 16 verse uh, 29. And bracing himself against them, with his left hand on one and his right hand on the other, Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. And he pushed with all his might and down came the, uh, the temple on the rulers and the people in it. And thus he killed many more when he died than when he lived. And so although it's a very tragic end, his role in Israel had to lead Israel and to defeat the Philistines. And, and so what we see is that that even though he he struggled greatly, in the end he repented. In the end he uh, turned his his heart back toward the Lord, and God anointed him for one last kick, one last push. I wonder if there are some people watching today who say, "Lord, I messed up. I feel like Samson. I feel like I've betrayed you. I feel like I've lost my gifting, lost my anointing, lost lost my calling." Um, God wants to say to you that while there is breath in your lungs and you can repent and you can turn to him and you can go to him, he can reverse the situation and he can cause uh, the latter part of your life to be far more fruitful than the first. You say, God, you don't know what I've done. Hey, listen, I know what Samson did and he killed more in his death than he did. In other words, he achieved more in his last few minutes of his life than he did in the rest of his life put together. Listen, some of you are, are watching that your life slip by as, as COVID robs you of jobs and joy and all sorts of things. Listen, God, God, God can make you more fruitful in tough times. He can make you more fruitful in COVID times. He can make you more fruitful when you're unemployed than in the times when you had your greatest around you. And so I'd like to pray today. I'd, pray, I'd like to pray for those who, who really trust in God for another chance, another crack at what he's called them to. Don't lose hope. Uh, trust the Lord. He's the God of the second chance. Lord Jesus, I pray for everybody who's interceding right now, who thinks that they've dropped the baton, who thinks that maybe their past um, has disqualified them, that their last chance is gone. Lord, I pray for right now for a, a resurging of courage, a resurging of faith, I pray, Lord God, that you would open doors of opportunity and second chances. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And I believe with all my heart that as long as there's breath in your lungs, uh, you can ask God for a second chance.